click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have discussed about the Hoffman elimination reaction and now in this topic also we are going to talk about that is Hoffman carbon reaction. So now what is actually this reaction and let us talk about it in this topic. So friends, now let me talk about what is actually Hoffman carbon reaction. It is nothing but it is the reaction of primary amine with chloroform in presence of a base and that's the reason that I'm going to talk about the general reaction first and then on we are going to talk about the example. So let me talk about the general reaction that is suppose if we have considered the primary amine that is RNH2 and suppose in presence of chloroform that is CHCl3 with a strong base like 3 moles of KOH or we can also use NOH. So in this case the byproduct that we could get after heating is nothing but the first of all that is we could get that is 3 moles of H2 and the other byproduct that we could get is 3 moles of KCl and the main product that is what we could get is nothing but it is RNC which is known as isocyanide or which is known as alkyl isocyanate. So this alkyl isocyanate is also called as carbalamine so that's the reason that this kind of reaction is known as Hoffman's carbalamine reaction. So the reaction proceeds only for the primary amine it doesn't occur for the secondary as well as tertiary so for that let me give you an example for the primary amine the reaction of primary amine with chloroform and that is strong base like KOH so friends suppose if we are considering that is ethyl amine that is C2H5 NH2 and suppose if we are reacting it with chloroform that is CHCl3 and that also in presence of that is strong base like KOH that is potassium hydroxide so after heating it the main product that is what we could obtain over here is I could write it over here as C2H5 NC along with that of the byproduct that is 3 moles of KCl and that is 3 moles of H2. So this is the byproduct that is what we could get and this is the main product that is what we could get and the name of this is known as ethyl isocyanide. So this is what we can obtain. So friends this was the reaction of a primary amine and this is nothing but this is aliphatic amine. So what is the reaction of an aromatic amine with that of chloroform and KOH? Let me talk about that also. So friends, suppose if we have considered a primary amine which is nothing but you could call it as aromatic amine that is benzene and NH2 which is also known as aniline. And suppose if this aniline undergoes through a reaction with chloroform that is CHCl3 along with that of 3 moles of KOH. So after heating this, the byproduct that we could get is nothing but the benzene which is attached to NC. Plus there will be elimination or there will be removal of the byproduct that is nothing but 3 moles of H2O along with that of 3 moles of KCl. So this is the product that is what we have got and the name of this product is known as phenyl isocyanate. So this is what we can obtain from aniline and this overall reaction that is what we have did that is in the previous example also that is I have considered. So this is basically known as Hoffman carbalamine reaction. So this reaction is only positive for primary amines and it is not positive for secondary as well as tertiary amines. So that's it. This is what I want to discuss about. So thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. Till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.